Time is brain, and for every minute that goes by, you lose great amounts of brain and brain power. The quicker you come in, the more brain we can save. I had uh, stopped at a local bar to have a drink on the way home. Had received a phone call regarding uh, work the next day, and I had accidentally dropped my phone and kind of passed out. And that's about all I remember. We got him in the squad, got a good assessment. Sometimes it's a little chaotic on scene, so we were able to actually have a one-on-one -on -one in the back of the ambulance with him. And we started asking questions. We now have something called a race scale, which has five components to it. You know, and we ha did that to him, and every single one was completely positive of a, of a stroke, where we even asked him, you know, whose hand is this? And on his right hand, he knew. On his left hand, he had no idea. We had him raise his right leg, he could raise it. Left leg, it just stayed there, and he thought he was raising it. Nebraska Medicine is a comprehensive stroke center here in, in Omaha. Um, they provide the best care as far as stroke goes. They have a, a stroke team that's ready, ready to go for him. In Rex's case, uh, we were pre-notified of that. So we were waiting for him. What that allows us is rapid assessment of the patient, and uh, we are able to get the test that we need to treat him uh, right away. So Rex, uh, from the ambulance, went to the CAT scan, and there we were able to obtain a CAT scan with contrast that confirmed that, in fact, he was having a stroke, and it was a stroke due to a blockage of one of the main vessels of the right side of the brain. With that, we were able to treat him within you know, a few minutes, and we also realized that he was a candidate for a surgical procedure. So we called our uh, coalescing neurosurgery, and they were able to activate their team right away. You don't fathom it, you know? I mean, it's like that's major. You're thinking just like life-threatening, and it's like, you know, I wasn't ready to go yet, I guess. So usually after you have a stroke, the first step is to treat to minimize the injury, the brain injury. Once we have achieved that, the next step is to find out why you had a stroke. And in the cardiac imaging, we'll be, we were able to see some uh, abnormalities in his heart that were concerning for uh, a possible source of clots that would definitely uh, create another uh, stroke. So we referred him to a, uh, our cardiology team and they were able to uh, confirm this uh, abnormality and treat him to prevent further strokes. Yeah, they're incredible. Did their job to the fullest, you know. If I had a family member or friends or any, you know, I mean, I would definitely, if they were in the same position, it'd be, it's great knowing we have that resource here in Omaha. He uh, came in, uh, almost immediately after his symptoms. So uh, the amount of brain injury was minimal. So Rex, uh, within 24 hours, feeling much better. And today uh, has been more than three months. He uh, can say that he has recovered completely, so he has no symptoms from his strokes. Don't take anything for granted, you know? I mean, I always joked about it. You know, I've lived a full life, you know? But, you know, I'd rather keep living, so very appreciative for everything they've done.